Okay everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this evening. I hope that you have been enjoying your day. So we're going to be looking at what that system is doing in the Caribbean. Potential tropical cyclone 22, which I really don't expect to develop into a tropical cyclone anymore because of the hostile conditions that it's uh, that it is currently in and will be making its way into however that flood threat remains for portions of the caribbean so there has been some flooding in jamaica many roads uh, have been impacted by this and i'll be getting some statistics to you in this updated video as well as what to expect next so let's get straight into it first we're looking at these satellite imagery let's start off with parts of the south caribbean and northern south america so across portions of the guyanas guyana Suriname, french Guiana, we're seeing some thunderstorms popping up up, bringing a cool down to some areas this evening and uh, as we head into parts of the south caribbean as well there is some activity so some periods of heavy rainfall across sections of uh, costa rica and even into panama as well as we head into most of the lesser antilles though we can see that much isn't happening this evening it's a similar story for the abc islands uh, going up into puerto rico and the virgin islands and even the easterly section of hispaniola over in the dominican republic hasn't really been impacted that much by any significant rainfall today and then over in central america the rest of central america nicaragua honduras going to the bay islands el salvador guatemala belize the keys and even to mexico there hasn't been a whole lot of activity cayman islands western cuba even parts of central cuba as well there hasn't been much and things have been clearing up for florida now if we should look down into the vicinity of jamaica eastern cuba and even going over into portions of uh, hispaniola especially for haiti there has been some rainfall activity some periods of heavy rain moving into the area as a result of ptc 22 that stands for potential tropical cyclone 22 and a lot is also spreading out across sections of the bahamas so some periods of heavy rain but mostly overcast conditions for many areas same story for the turks and caicos islands now as i mentioned in jamaica there has been some periods of some flooding across some areas especially the south and eastern parishes so in terms of the statistics now uh, the jamaica defense force had to rescue uh 24 people this morning uh, that were stranded in those flood waters and over 16 roads have been impacted by flooding landslides and even those downed trees as well and and many of us lost power as well so over 14,000 jps customers have been impacted because uh, the power was out for some time and of course today schools have been closed Alan wide face-to-face uh, -face classes so many classes were kept online and it's better to be safe than sorry but really for jamaica uh most of the activity has remained offshore why uh is that the case when the center is actually located just offshore of northwest parishes right now well that is because of the wind shear what is the wind shear now uh, that is the uh the upper level winds in the atmosphere which displaces all of that activity that convection with those showers and thunderstorms uh those winds coming in from the southwest blow into the east they're quite strong so they have been displacing a lot of that activity well away from that center of circulation of some circulation because it is not defined uh it's not a well-defined system out there that is why it hasn't attained tropical cyclone status because based on collected data the winds are at least around a tropical depression force but it hasn't been classified as such and really i'm not expecting it to become anything much as i said earlier but because of that a lot of the activity has remained offshore of jamaica which is some good news many more areas would have been seriously inundated if it wasn't for that shear but with that being said it is likely that a lot of that activity is going to continue making its way through parts of hispaniola into haiti the dominican republic especially the southern portion of the Dominican Republic and with Haiti in particular there are many deforested areas and with that the soil is loose and easily washed away so those mudslides are going to be very much probable as we head into tomorrow and for portions of eastern Cuba as well the southeast Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands there's still a tropical storm watch by the way here looking at the cone forecast you're not seeing that but there is a tropical storm watch still in effect for those areas for Jamaica it has been discontinued however there may still be periods of heavy rain and even some additional flooding in portions of Jamaica as we head through the rest of today and into tomorrow it's not going to be the case for the majority of the island but for some areas that is likely to happen just as 
how with even uh, between yesterday and today, it's not the entirety of the island that has experienced uh, a lot of that heavy rain that was actually forecast by the majority of the models. So thankfully, again, a lot of that activity has remained offshore because of the shear and it would have been a completely different story if that wasn't the case, if those upper level winds were not strong enough to keep the bulk of the rain uh, to the east of the island. Now, as we take a look at the forecast cone, though, we can see here that the system is actually moving a bit faster and will continue to uh, increase in its acceleration to the northeast, currently moving at 17 miles per hour. So it is not a slow mover here. And as we head into the next couple of days, going into uh, Saturday, tomorrow afternoon and into Sunday, it may acquire tropical storm status based on what NHC has uh, because it may try to get itself together a bit more. But as I said, I'm not expecting expecting that. Regardless, though, there is still that rainfall threat, uh, that flood potential across the aforementioned areas, guys. So please don't let down your guard, even if you haven't been experiencing much. Now, here we are looking at the wind shear map. So those red lines indicate unfavorable shear. And if you look very closely, you can see those brown lines with those arrows uh, pointing to the direction to which those winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere are blowing. So we can see that they're coming out of the southwest and uh, blowing toward the northeast. Again, that has been displacing a lot of the activity. But take a look at what is ahead. Notice that we're not seeing many of those green lines, which indicate that the upper level winds aren't too strong. So those wouldn't interfere much in terms of development but we're not seeing that a lot more unfavorable wind shear is ahead of the system that coupled with the land interaction uh, the system moving over all that terrain already for jamaica over cuba hispaniola that is going to be helping to limit any development that could happen additionally as we look at the dry air map the dry air is marked by those shades of yellows those uh, those oranges and those reds as well and there is some dry air in the vicinity of it so that dry air intrusion also helps to limit those showers and thunderstorms so as a result i'm not expecting development the chance has also been dropping now at 30 percent and i really think that it will continue to decrease as we head into the rest of today and into tomorrow but again guys the concern is that flood threat and uh, it is sustaining wind as i said earlier tropical depression force winds but gusts could be up to tropical storm force reaching around 39 miles per hour at the most that is still going to be possible hence that tropical storm watch again still in effect for parts of the southeast bahamas turks and caicos islands eastern cuba as well as for Haiti. So that is what is on the horizon, guys, and that is what I wanted to share with you in this update. I hope you found this video to be quite informative, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I can, and remember to always be with the wise.